My name is Justin Quarter, and I work for Autodesk as a product support specialist for Moldflow products. This video will cover configuring and utilizing the Autodesk Moldflow proxy. Before we get into the procedure for utilizing this tool, first it's important that we understand exactly what the Autodesk Moldflow proxy is. The proxy is the second component of the licensing structure used by Autodesk Moldflow products, the first being the Flex License Manager. The proxy itself is what controls the access to and the distribution of Moldflow product licenses. This video will cover utilizing the proxy for license availability reasons, such as number of licenses, types of licenses, user usability and what licenses are being used, as well as cover restarting the proxy to ensure the con communication with the Flex License Manager. The first component of the License Manager is the Flex License Manager itself, in which you have set up and specified a service to install your licenses for use. To understand the use of the proxy, first we need to know what licenses you have so that we can compare that to what the proxy sees. So to do this, we'll want to open the Flex License tool, referred to as the LM tools. This can be accessed by going to your Start menu, All Programs, Autodesk, Network License Manager, LM Tools. Once inside the LM Tools, we want to navigate to the Server Status tab and select the option to perform a status inquiry. This will populate the text box below, and by scrolling down, we want to look for the ADSK FLEX License Daemon, which next to it will indicate the version of the LM tools that you're utilizing, in this case, version 11.4. Below this daemon are all your served Autodesk products, and you should see the products that you've registered for Moldflow. These are the products that we'll be trying to match to what we see in the proxy, as this indicates the service that you have set up. To clarify what the proxy sees, first we need to open the proxy. To do so, open a Windows Explorer and navigate to the C drive. Once on the C drive, we want to go to the program files, or the program files x86 directory, if using a 64-bit operating system. Go to your Autodesk directory, and in here, your License Manager Moldflow directory. Once inside this directory, we want to launch the application ampsa.exe, and this will launch the Autodesk Moldflow Proxy Service Monitor, which is the UI that is used for monitoring the license services provided by the proxy. You'll notice that there are several tabs across the top, each one indicating a certain specific type of information. The first tab, the AMPS servers, lists all servers recognized by your machine as having a proxy on it. And you can select a machine out of this list or specify the host name or IP address in the text box above. Doing either will automatically launch you to the Server Properties tab, where it'll indicate to you more detailed information about the selected machine, including a full host name, IP address, the version of the proxy, and the status of the proxy. Next, we can navigate to the Features tab, and this is where we'll see what features you have licensed for. This list of features should match that that we saw in the LM tools. If it doesn't, the procedure for understanding how to make sure that they do is covered later in the video. This tab also indicates the type of feature, the type of license, the availability of those licenses, as well as the number of instances allowed. The next two tabs are the Reservations tab, as well as the Pending Reservations tab. Basically, these two tabs indicate the feature, the users, and the timestamps in which they're being utilized. The pending reservations is different in that it indicates users waiting for access to a license. The next tab is the Usage Summary tab. This tab indicates the feature, the peak and average utilization, as well as the average wait time and the peak wait time, depending on the number of licenses you have for each feature. The Usage Totals tab indicates the user ID, client host name, feature, and the total usage in terms of seconds as well as the wait time in seconds for each feature a client has. And then finally the event log is a time step calendar that lays out exactly how often a certain feature is checked out and who checks that feature out. It indicates the time frame in which it was checked out, what exactly the action was, and any other relevant information. If we navigate back to the features tab first we'll notice that along the left hand side of the proxy monitor you'll see there are three buttons. The Server Information button, which is what we're utilizing right now, as well as the LM Tools button and the Activate Licenses button. The LM Tools button will automatically launch you to the LM Tools, so you have a very quick way to navigate between the two relevant tools that we're using here. The Activate Licensing tab, or button, will launch the website in which you can log in and register your serial numbers and streamline the process for setting everything up. 
What I want to focus on here now is ensuring that the list specified in the Features tab matches that which we saw in the LM tools. As you'll notice here, we have four features that are highlighted as being recognized. If this list has nothing in it or is not seen at all within the LM tools, then what we need to do is restart this service. To do so, go to your control panel. And within your control panel, you want to go to your administrative tools, and then in your administrative tools, you want to go within your services. In your services, we're looking for the service called Autodesk License Manager parentheses Mold Flow. Quickly right click and select Restart, or select the option to the left to restart, and wait while this service itself actually restarts. If you currently have the proxy open, what you'll want to do is close it, and then wait several minutes before relaunching it. After you've waited a sufficient amount of time, relaunching the service should repopulate all your lists, as evident by the loading bar at the bottom of the proxy list. It'll indicate the progress with the, the restart, and then it'll populate everything. After everything's been populated, you can select the host name out of the list, or you can specify the machine information in the top and hit the refresh button. Again, we want to navigate to the features list, and after restarting the proxy, typically now what you'll see is that the licenses are all available. This is relevant because if you set your service up after the proxy has already started, many times the proxy will not have seen what the license, what licenses are available. If you have any questions, feel free to refer to the Flex version of this video, reference number TS14274744. Have a nice day.